Hey everyone! So, before we get started, let me just say I am so, so, so very thankful that you are watching today. I am going to do my absolute favorite berry fall look. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm so excited to have the cardigans back out and just the cooler, crisper weather of the fall. So, I'm also going to show you a brand new, absolutely just released product in just a moment. So let's get started with my lips. I've already done my foundation, but I wanted to show you wrong product. <laughs> We're saving that for, for a little bit later. That's for my eyes. But let's start with the lips, okay? So my favorite fall combo is this Garden Romance, which is a mauve berry top shade and Safari Sunset, which is a great neutral. And when you pair them together, they give you this very pretty berry shade, um, and it also tones down the Garden Romance just a little bit. So I'm going to start with a darker color, and I like to wipe off my excess because a little of this will go a super, super long way. It really will, it will go so far. All right, and so you're gonna put just a little on your lips. Now, when this dries, it will dry to a matte finish. But I love how velvety it is. It has um, ingredients in it. I'm not gonna mispronounce the names of the ingredients, but it has ingredients in it that will help your lips stay nourished and moisturized and conditioned, which it's getting fall and winter. We're all gonna need some dry lip help, right? Why not let your makeup do it? Okay, now I'm going to take that second shade and do the same thing. I'm gonna wipe off some of the excess. Now you could wear this alone. It's a very pretty by itself, but I like to mix. So I'm going to do just the same thing. So my dog has just realized that I'm in here. She's just realized that she's scratching at the door, but that, that's okay. There you have it. So there it is a little bit more muted, but it still has that berry color to it. So next up, let's do cheeks. I kind of work my way up. I like to do my eyes last. So let's do cheeks. This is a cream to powder blush. And now this will hold up wonderfully in, I don't know, I feel like I just said that through my nose. Wonderfully in high humidity and such. It goes on cream, so it blends out beautifully, but then it dries to that powder finish, which um, most people like. So you can see I just dabbed it across my cheekbones and I'm taking my blush brush with the larger end at the bottom. And I'm just blending that out. Now, the reason I turned my brush that way is because if I turned it this way, it would bring more product up here high. And I didn't want that. I want it to be right along that cheekbone. Just blend that out and do the same thing on the other side. And then we will, I'll show you this brand new product. Brand 
brand new and I am so excited about it. This was the peach blush. I love the peach because it is just a very natural shade. Just gives you that natural glow. And I'm not even going to lie, guys. I should have turned my heat down. Feeling a little warm. <laughs> Feeling just a tad warm, but that's okay. So now, let's do eyes. So, let me show you. Let me show you this product. Look at that. Let me turn her around. See? Da, da, da. Look at that. Well, let's see. There you go. That is better. Look at that. These are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. They are berry, cool berry tones. Let's see if I can. There. There we go. So you have a lighter shade, a matte, a darker shade, and then this beautiful shimmer. I've wore it by itself already several times. Love it. Love it. Now. This is also affordable, okay? You're not looking at 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, not even $30, less than $30. And these eyeshadows are so good. They're so good. They are highly pigmented. Let me kind of wipe off my crease from my foundation. They're highly pigmented. They are butter, like they apply like butter. I've never used a smoother eyeshadow in my life. And they're long wearing. So they're highly pigmented, long wearing. End of the day, mine looks just as good as when I just put... Hello! <laughs> as when I just first put it on. And then, um, they're just great, guys. They're great. And so, a palette this size is awesome as well, you know. But if you're one that loves to use just a few shades, if you like to have your go-to look, you're not about the fuss, I am right here for you, sister. Right here for you. Not even lying. Not even, okay? Right here. So I'm going to start with my with this lighter shade, which is called Crush. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. And that just is what we like to call level out your base, which helps make sure that your eyelid is all the same color. You're not um, fighting with, you know, your dark skin tone or anything like that. So you get a more equally distributed color here. So yeah, just level out that base, right? You always start with one color and I am putting that all over. Next, same thing on the other eye. Again, just leveling it all out. One shade all over gives both eyelids an equal playing field here. Level it out. And now there's lots of ways that you can use these other colors, but I'm going to take this kind of angled brush, slightly angled, and I'm going to take this darker this one right here, which is known as Kiss. I'm going to take Kiss. Me, there you go. I'm going to take Kiss and put her, I like calling them by female names, put her right here in my crease. And just blend her out.
And in a minute, I'm going to blend everything together. But you can see how highly pigmented these are. I used barely any. And I have this beautiful deep berry shade going right here on my crease. Now you can skip that if you need. One other day I'll do a, um, just using one or two of these shades because honestly, these berry shades are my go-to. I was so excited when this palette was released because normally if I wear eyeshadow, I don't always wear it, but normally if I wear it, I'd either like tans and neutrals or I like berry shades. So this was right up my alley, right up my alley. And I'm just kind of doing like that windshield wiper, just side to side, swipe, 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 swipe. Maybe put just a tad more on this other side. And like I said, we'll blend all this out in a little bit. But do the windshield wiper here too. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Okay. Now next, I'm going to take another brush. That same one that I used level. And I'm going to use this medium shade here. Right here. And I'm going to apply all over the lid. And then we'll finish it up with the glitter. The shimmer. But look how highly pigmented that is, guys. Bam. Did I just use the right one? We're going with it. I'm pretty sure I just swapped um, Crush again instead of Cuddle. But that's okay. We'll roll with it. We will roll with it. So you could see putting that over this other shade is softening it some. Right? So you can do that as well. Yep, I totally used that shade instead of the other one. So I'm just taking that lightest shade now and I'm going all over just to mute it down just a little bit. You guys will have to watch for another day when I use the correct eyeshadows. But you can still see how smoothly these apply and how pigmented they are. A little goes a long, long way. Now purples are good for bringing out brown eyes. They also look really good with hazel as well. So now before I put the shimmer, I'm going to take just a fluffy brush And I'm going to just kind of blend and soften all of that. Just tiny circles, just blending it, softening it up so that, that it's not as harsh of lines. Do, do, do. Now, I'm gonna take that same brush. I'm going to take this shade, which is Giggle. Giggle, which has that shimmer to it. And that's gonna help brighten up your eye and bring some more attention to your eyes because look at this. Look how pretty.
Now I'm just applying it all over. You could just leave it in your inner corner I'm doing a light dusting all over. Why not? Okay, usually I would clean that up just a little bit, but I don't have, I don't have my foundation brush. But you could see, look how pretty those colors are. I'm hoping that the video is picking it up. If not, I'll post some pictures, but here we go. This is the holy grail right here, okay? This is going to be the icing on the cake. Four in one mascara, four in one, meaning it lengthens, volumizes, curls, and the fourth is that it conditions. So just like I said that the lipstick had a conditioning factor, so does this mascara. And so conditioning your lashes is going to keep them from feeling brittle and stiff. It's going to help them grow and it's just going to give you overall healthier lashes. And I have never used another mascara. Never used another mascara that does what this one does. Amazing. Amazing. I'm going to look down in my mirror. All right, let's go do the other eye while that one dries a little bit and then we'll come back to it. So do the little shimmy side to side. That helps make sure that each one of your lashes gets coated. Shimmy, there you go. I like to blink as well. You see, I'm like putting my lash brush to my lashes and then I'm just kind of blinking, letting that go down. But look at that. Let's do one more and then we will be finished. You can take the smaller end to make sure that you're getting those outer lashes, outer corners. Seriously, guys. Seriously. It's my favorite. And you'll notice I didn't even re-dip my brush. There is enough product on this wand, this mascara wand, that you rarely will have to re-dip. There we go. So, again, this eyeshadow palette if you love berry shades you need it in your life absolutely need it in your life not even going to sugarcoat it okay <laughs> so i hope that you've enjoyed this video if you have please like follow and subscribe depending on where you are watching so that you cannot miss my next one these will become more and more frequent and i hope that you guys have a very blessed day.